Hi all, this is just a very quick look at just a couple of verses to determine who Babylon is. I do in fact have a three part series on this subject and, and the links to them are in the description box below. Many say Babylon is the USA, many say it's literal Babylon city. Many say it's Rome and many say Babylon is a mystery. But is it really a mystery? More on that soon. But for now, who is Babylon? There is one verse in the Bible that separates most of the fakes from the real deal. In 1 Peter 5.13 it says, The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus my son. Peter was writing to Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia from a place he spiritually calls Babylon. Peter was not writing from the literal city of Babylon, as Babylon the city was destroyed in 482 BC by the Medes, about 500 years before Peter wrote 1 Peter, and it has never been inhabited again since. In fact, Isaiah says it will never be inhabited again, saying, And Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Isaiah 13, 19 and 20. Well, if you haven't guessed already, the literal city of Babylon, being a candidate for mystery Babylon, was just dealt its death blow. That is, if you're inclined to give the scriptures any kind of weight on this matter. For it didn't exist in John's day. Yet he wrote a letter from a place he called Babylon. Nor will that city be inhabited again, according to Isaiah. So let's look at the USA as a candidate for Babylon. This is the least biblical view that I have heard of, and it's quite amazing how this seducing doctrine has taken off in these latter days. However, it's really simple to put to an end. Peter wrote his letter from spiritual Babylon, and he did not write his letter from the USA. And I think the reason is self-explanatory, but I'll say it anyway. The USA was not founded until quite a while after Peter's death, such as 1500 years after. So just let that sink in for a few minutes. Another reason is because Babylon is a city and, and not a nation. And we know this because it says so in Revelation nine times. Nine times the angel calls Babylon a city and not a nation. So USA, Babylon, it's most definitely not. Nor is the USA the daughter of Babylon. In my three part series on Mystery of Babylon, I take an in-depth look into the daughter of Babylon and who it is. And the Bible makes it very clear who it is. So is Babylon a mystery? No, it's not. The same angel that told John nine times that the woman, Babylon, was a city, also told John a few verses earlier in Revelation 17:7 7, that he would reveal the mystery of who the woman was to John, and he did, saying it was a city nine times. Therefore, it is not a mystery to those with eyes to see and ears to hear. The angel did in fact tell us which city it was. If you had have been paying attention when reading Revelation 11, you would know which city it is, as the angel actually names the city. But more on that in my three part series, which is in the links below. So Babylon is a city, but is it Rome? No, it's not Rome. And here is why. The Babylon John saw is an eschatological city, meaning it's a city in the future. We know this because the angel said to John to come up hither. I will show thee the judgment of the great whore. Revelation 17.1 So clearly John was shown Babylon city just as she was about to go into judgment and destruction. She has not yet been destroyed. So when was she drunk with the saint's blood? While John was looking at her just prior to her destruction is when she was drunk with the saint's blood. So clearly these saints that she kills are eschatological saints, meaning future saints. Nothing to do whatsoever with the saints the Roman church killed in the past. Besides, Rome does not have the blood of prophets in her, yet Babylon does. Rome does not have the blood of all those slain upon the earth, but Babylon does. So according to scripture, and not popular opinion, Babylon is not Rome either. It is a fact that Peter was killed in Rome in his latter years, some 30 years after Christ. But Peter was a Jewish fisherman who lived in Jerusalem and not Rome. And we know from the book of Acts that Peter was living in Jerusalem with his family after the crucifixion of Christ. And likely where he wrote First Peter from, a place he called Babylon. He did go on long missionary journeys and on one of these he was killed in Rome. 
He did not write his letter from Rome. He wrote it from where he lived at Babylon, Jerusalem. Clearly it says he is with his family, as he mentions his son, Marcus. Peter called Jerusalem Babylon because he knew the Bible had previously called Babylon Jerusalem in the Old Testament. More on that in my three-part series, Mystery Babylon, The Biblical Case for Jerusalem. In that series we present hard facts and only from the scriptures to show you that Jerusalem is indeed, without a doubt, Mystery Babylon. To watch that series, just click on the links on the screen or in the description box below. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment too if you like. Thanks for watching and I hope you've been blessed.